So I'm currently out doing the first quest of the day, which is gonna be to go and get some claw clippers for Menace. The ones we have right now are way too dull, so they're not that effective. It takes a long time to cut his claws. So we're gonna get a new pair today. Summer has come to Sweden a few weeks ago, pretty much. It started out being so warm that it was a hassle being outside. Now it's a bit cooler. I think a lot of people will find this to be a little bit too cold. But I actually like the way it is right now. I guess the only problem is that it's a little bit windy. And also it has been raining a lot. If we could just get rid of those factors, like the temperature is all good. So the car is currently parked at the harbor parking. There she is. In all her glory. So we're gonna drive over to the pet store first. We made it. I know I made jokes about this in the past, but Willies, come on, it's a classic. This is a cute little bag. I also got Menes some rice bones that he is allowed to eat right now since he's still under allergy investigation. This is one of those. It has no meat protein in it, but it's made from some form of rice. It's supposed to be safe. So now we have purchased everything we want. I also stopped by Will's to get some groceries right here. And as always, when you stop by a store and you're like, I'm just gonna pick up this one thing, or like these two things, and I come out with a bag full, either way. Sweden is in a transition period away from plastic bags, as much as possible at least. This is a paper bag. They've increased the price of the plastic bags by a huge, like 400% or something like that. So they don't want people to buy plastic bags. So paper bags is the way to go here now, but also something that usually has plastic bags is the vegetables. I bought a bunch of vegetables today and the alternative you have for that now is also small paper bags. In that case I would actually say I prefer these paper bags for vegetables. So it's a new day. I'm just out taking a morning stroll with this little guy. Snifferino Snifferano. Mr. Sniffers. Right now I'm actually doing intermittent fasting. If you guys don't know what that is, putting it simply, would be having a 16 hour fasting window and then eating for a period of 8 hours. Pretty much the only thing that's allowed during those 16 fasting hours would be coffee and water, pretty much. That's just putting it simply, but if you're interested in what it is, you can just Google it. I think I've been doing it for almost two weeks now, and it feels like it's working pretty good. I'm just gonna keep on doing it for about, I think it's gonna be all together six weeks, and then I'll evaluate the results. And if I feel that it's working good, I'll just keep doing it. I've been out running twice now. One time with Menace. Seemed like he liked it a lot. And the next time I went was yesterday and I went alone. And I'm also trying to play some paddle tennis uh, during my vacation now. I've been doing that a lot, but not enough lately. I think it's so much fun, but it's quite expensive to get the, get the bookings of the courts and stuff like that. I would like to play more, but you know, at some point it's gonna be a money issue if you play too much. Putting it in other words, that means that I can start eating at 2 or 3 today, depending on where when I want to break the fast. 
when I start eating then I have eight hours to to eat everything that I want to eat this day. One thing that has definitely been good for is removing the, the snacking. So we'll see what happens. Excuse me, you're walking right in front of our video cam play session. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what the hell? Turn around. Good boy. <laughs> See? See? No? <laughs> That's not. <laughs> See? Here they Stay. Stay. Go ahead. Hello guys, so right now I'm at the McDonald's drive-thru just waiting for two coffees. I've been playing paddle tennis for or like this morning with my friends. Some of them haven't played that much before so it's been more of a warm-up and, and kind of uh, them getting the hang of the game. I'm gonna go back now and in an hour I'm gonna play with people that are uh, pretty much at the same level as I am, so it's gonna be a, a little bit more even match at the top of what I can do. Taking on two paddle sessions in one day might be a little bit too much now that I'm on a diet and not eating until like three o'clock. But you know, we'll make it work. It's so much fun. I, I, I probably started playing paddle after I stopped making YouTube videos, so. I'll take the camera in with me and I'll film a little bit when uh, when some other good players play because I saw some people walking in now that I left that are really really good at this game. So I'll show you a little bit of that because I don't think I can film when I play myself. Maybe someday in the future if someone's watching but at this level right now it's still a hobby and uh, just something I do to for for the practice of it you know to work out. When you're going to work out I want to do something that is also fun at the same time. Um, I'm, I know that I'm like out running now and I find that boring as hell but yeah I guess it's, it's so effective that the result is worth it in the end. Just being out running is very boring. I take practice in paddle every day of the week on top of running but you know. So two large coffee is coming up.
I'm walking up from the parking now. I just got done with the paddle sessions and it's been two 90 minutes sessions, so 180 or three hours of paddle tennis today, which means that I'm pooped. I'm quite exhausted now since I'm on the intermittent fasting thing. I haven't eaten anything today, it's just coffee and water. So the first thing I'm gonna do when I get in is to eat a little bit of food. But most likely, the rest of the day will just be relaxing and recovering. But it has been a lot of fun. The guys you saw before, those guys are really good. I know one of the guys a little bit. He's in the same football organization that I am. Um, and he's really, really good at paddle. So of course I couldn't feel myself playing anything, but um, the second session of the day, when, I, uh, when we played a real match opposing some guys at pretty much the same level as me, I think I played the best paddle tennis I've been the best paddle tennis session that I've ever played, to be honest. So, that feels really good to feel that you're improving, you know? Hello again, guys. It's another day, and I was just thinking that I probably have filmed enough to put it to one vlog. I was thinking I'll end the vlog here. Currently, I'm gonna eat this lunch, which is leftover pizza from yesterday. It's a salami pizza with Bernays sauce on it, which is um, maybe not standard, but it's pretty good. Menace just had his lunch as well. So we're eating lunch together at home. Catherine is currently away taking a bath with my mother. She was gonna go grocery shop. Grocery shopper? She was gonna go grocery shopping uh, on the way home as well. I was planning on making a video where we make tacos because people would like to see the cooking videos. And I mean, tacos is a very simple thing, but um, I talked to Kat about this concept about, especially in Sweden, and let's call it uh, Swedish tacos as well because this is not like the original ta uh, Mexican taco version. This is just a, the Sweden-fied version of how we do taco. In Sweden everyone has like their own take on what Swedish taco should be like. It's almost a little bit like people are very protective and like defensive about how tacos should be eaten and how it should be had. We're gonna make a video about that showing you how we have our tacos and maybe how stuff has changed, uh, like our different views of tacos and what changed when we started eating tacos together and stuff like that. I just think it's a fun subject because I guess there's just some foods that people view as that they should be able to have this and that to be able to be called uh, what it is. So I hope you're a little bit curious about that idea. From me and Menace right here. I hope you had a sunny fucking day. <laughs> what are you up to? What are you up to? What did you do? What are you up to? <laughs> <laughs> 